All right, so I'm going to do a quick little video about this uh, Dyna S ignition setup. You can see this little aluminum wheel here. There's a little mark on that. There's actually a magnet just behind the wrench here. And then this is the right pickup. I've set it up here so that I've got the right coil plugged into the plug and then grounded to the battery. It's a little hokey, but it's gonna work really well. I'm gonna show you here too. I've got this dial indicator here. I'm gonna try and show you the motion and then you'll hopefully hear the snap of the spark. I'm gonna just give that a whirl here, so bear with me. Turn on the ignition. And then we're gonna turn this counterclockwise and I'll try and get both in here. Oh, you could hear that. There. It's snapping. And you can see the little spark. Nice little spark. And this is where it's gonna look. So, so for example, it's gonna spark right at the 20 thousandths. Right there. Maybe you can hear that. That. And that is just before top dead center. I'm a little off on my gauge, but I'm pretty darn close. I'll go again. Ready? There you can hear it snap at 20, just before 20. Oh. There you go. So this cylinder is done. And you can see the small adjustment screw right here. So you can adjust this up or down just so it will line up properly with that little mark. But of course, the main thing is that the spark um, uh, ignites exactly at the right time and we want it to be before top dead center. And in this case, about 90 thou, uh, 900, sorry. So uh, anyways, that's it.